Here we have 10.5 matching graphs with rational functions, two vertical asymptotes. So first identify which your horizontal asymptotes are, or your vertical asymptotes, and then you can outrule some of them. Then determine your horizontal or oblique asymptotes, and you can outrule maybe some more. Then determine the x-intercepts to see if you can pin it down. And if that doesn't work, then finally you can use the y-intercept to really, really figure it out. Now, how do you figure out what the vertical asymptotes are? Set the denominator equal to zero. Here you have to compare the degrees, right, of the numerator and the denominator. X-intercepts is when the numerator equals zero. And then the y-intercept is when you plug in zero into the function, okay? So for the first one, I'm gonna take these, uh, this denominator and I'm gonna equal it to zero. So I get X, minus or plus 4 and x minus 2 and that means I get x equals negative 4 and positive 2. So if I go through all of these, this one has negative 4 and positive 2 so it could be a. This one has negative 4 and positive 2 so it could be b. This one does not have negative 4 and positive 2 so not c. Um, this one does not have negative 4 and positive 2 asymptotes, neither does this one. This one does though, so this could be it. So we've got it down to A, B, or F. Now I'm going to verify the horizontal asymptotes. Well, the degree of the numerator is 1, the degree of the denominator is 2, which means that the horizontal asymptote is automatically at y equals 0. So if I look at A, the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0, the same for B, but not the same for F. So F is not going to be ours. Horizontal asymptote is up there at three instead of at zero, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is find the x-intercepts. So here we're gonna take the numerator equal to zero, and we get x equal to zero. So we're looking for the intercept zero, zero. This does not have the x-intercept zero, zero. This one does. So it is not A. The answer for F is going to be B. Okay? So for F, the answer is B. Now let's go ahead and look at G. And I'll look at G in a different color. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Look at the vertical asymptotes first. So x minus 4 and x minus 1 equal to 0 means x equals 4 and 1. So um, b is already taken 4. This has negative 4 and positive 2. That's not it. I'm looking for 1 and positive 4. So c could be it. Um, 1 and positive 4, d could be it. 1 and positive 4, e could be it. Okay. So I've narrowed it down to those three. Now the next thing is the horizontal or oblique asymptote. Here the degree is zero, and here the degree is two. When the top is smaller, it's automatically at y equals zero. So looking at C, the horizontal asymptote is down at negative one. So C is not going to be the answer. Here the horizontal asymptote is at zero, and here the horizontal asymptote is at zero. So we're good with D and E. Now to distinguish between those two, we look at the x-intercepts. So there we're going to take the numerator and equal it to zero. But four cannot equal zero and there's no variable to solve for. So I can't solve for x there. So then that means that there are no x-intercepts. And if I look at the graph of D, there's no x-intercepts. And if I look at the graph E, there's also no x-intercepts. So I am going to have to do the last verification, which is the y-intercept. So in order for me to find the y-intercept, I'm just plugging in zero for x. So four over zero squared minus five times zero plus four gives me four over four with one. So one is the y-intercept. So then I'm looking at this graph and it does have the y-intercept of one. I'm looking at this graph and it has a y-intercept of negative one. So this is not our graph. D is the answer for 
the function g. Okay, so it's just a process of elimination. But this will narrow it down to just three. This will probably narrow it down to just two. And then this will be able to give you the answer. If that doesn't, then go the extra step and find the y-intercept. And then you'll really be able to pick out which one is the graph. And do these four steps for each function that they